Hey guys, it's Rick Overstat. In today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing my computer screen with you sitting here at my desk. I have 10, 11 brands, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, yeah, 11 brands of um, pastel liners or pastel and neon liners or neonish pastel liners um, to discuss. When I was doing my pastel month of April before I finally bit the bullet and bought the Nomad Cosmetics palette, which I'm actually wearing one right now, I, I have been seeing all these like liners and everybody talking about these hydro liners and I've looked at Silva Beauty for a while. Now, just a heads up, there's a couple of like brands on here um, that I don't know anything about. One, I don't recommend ever buying from again just because everything that happened with it. Um, I've heard some iffy things from about two of the other brands. So again, do your research before you buy. I'm not going to like pick out any of these specific brands, but I'm sure um, if you know anything about the beauty community, they're usually pretty good about spilling the beans on things. Um, you can usually find something written up about somebody somewhere. Or if you're like me and you talk to a few indie brands, you get some inside information about some things that happen with other indie brands or even bigger brands for that matter. Uh, so just know that this is just information. I am not recommending that you go and buy any of these things. Um, am I going to buy some of these? Yes. Um, but it's, it's all based on like research that I've done and things like that, but I figured I would give a, a well-rounded uh, thing to discuss where I have done research, I have found a bunch of these brands, I've found a bunch of these products, I have pulled all the websites up and we're going to go over each one. Some of these are like pre-order, some of them are sold out, some of them have low stock numbers, that kind of thing, some of them like come back in stock occasionally. And if you use things like Honey or Shop Tagger, uh, you can usually be notified when stuff is back in, in stock. Um, so I do use apps like that to help keep track of like when things go on sale, when things come back in stock. Um, I use Ebates, which is now Rakuten, to get discounts on certain things. Some of these websites have like promotional codes. You can usually find a discount code for any of these websites at any given time using Honey, um, ShopTagger, uh, Swagbucks, um, Ebates, Rakuten, things like that. Um, and if you go to like Instagram, you can look for, just type in uh, the product or the brand that you're looking for. And you can usually find influencers that have used these products, um, get a better understanding about them. And sometimes they do include discount codes in the descriptions of the listings and stuff. So there are a bunch of ways to like save money on these as well. Um, hopefully all of the pop-ups that were up um, that I closed haven't popped back up because that would be kind of annoying. But this is just an informational video on different types of liners that are either considered pastel or neon or pastel and neon or because sometimes people consider pastels neon and sometimes they consider neons pastels and it's all personal preference. So I figured I would go over what I found and hopefully you guys discover a few new brands in the process. So going on, and, and this is the research that I did right here. That's what you're looking at. That is my Microsoft Word file where I have broken down the brand, the link to the products, the information based on you know how many products, what the price is. Um, if we need to do price breakdowns on like how much it is each, I can do that too. Um, and you know, I will have all of this information in the description box and the links to like Honey and Rakuten and that kind of thing, if you're not already a member of those and you want to sign up, I have my referral links down below. Um, if you sign up, we both earn something. On some of them you earn points, on some of them you earn like um, money, like on Rakuten, so just be aware of that. Um, and I will try and shorten these links using magic links. Not all of the links will be uh, affiliate links. Some of them will, some of them won't. I'll try and put an asterisk next to them if they are affiliated, like if I'll earn anything from you clicking that. But usually with indie brands, you won't earn any money on that kind of stuff if you see a shortened link. But we only have so many characters that we can put in our description box. So that's why I try and use shortened links because it makes it easier for me to get more links in a, in a description box. So now that we're five minutes in, first brand is Glam Vice. This is their, set, they have seven colors here. This is their pastel retro liner collection. It was on sale for $45. I do believe the original price was like 60. Now the original price was $56. It's currently sold out, but here are the colors. What I haven't found in a lot of these is like white. And a lot of these are UV reactant as well. The ones that look like this usually are water activated. So you get seven pastel UV retro neon liners. Um, and this is, you know, Glam Vice uh, Cosmetics again. If you go to, I don't know if it's gonna be underneath their eye collection. So 
So the seven one is sold out. It looks like you can buy them individually for $8 each. So let me pull up my calculator. So if we take 45 and divide it by seven, it makes them $6.42 each. So it is cheaper to buy them in the bundle. Um, but there are other colors that they have listed here that are not in that bundle. And they do have a white. It's called Moonwalk. So this just gives you an idea of some of the hydro liners that they have. And I guess all the ones that are sold out. Skate Date Neon Liner. That one also looks like it's white. Usually what they what I find with a lot of these like indie brands is when an item is sold out, they kind of like shade the picture so you can tell that it's sold out. And then of course they have a liner brush, which is nice. So this was the first brand that I found. It's just glamvicecosmetics.com. And then this was another brand, and um, they're actually currently doing an uh, affiliate kind of search right now where you can sign up um, on either on their website, because if you look, it says affiliate sign up. They make you sign a contract to get PR and that kind of stuff. Um, use, your, use your brain when signing up for stuff like that, especially if it's for PR purposes. You shouldn't have to sign a contract to get PR um, or to get products to review for a brand. That just seems a little bit odd to me. Um, also, they charge you to speed up the process of your order, so if not, uh, if you don't pay for like a rush order, it's going to take several days to weeks to get your order from this particular brand. I don't know what the thought process is behind that. Um, maybe it's because things are handmade and they're individually made and it takes time to do that, but if it was me, I wouldn't have something on my website that's not made. Um, now, I do take pre-orders on my website, but for the most part, everything that's on my website is available to be purchased, like now. <laughs> I don't put things on my website that are not for sale. So this is the Killer Queen Cosmetics Spring Break Killer Queens Edition. This is their liners. Let's see, uh, eight liners for $30. It says restocking in two weeks, Spring Break Killer Queens Edition. And I found another makeup brand that was based off of a school project called Killer Queens. So I don't know if this is the same person or not, but they did a Kickstarter back in 2016 for lipsticks and um, they didn't earn what they needed to to produce the product. So as far as I know, they, they never, things never happened with that brand. And this does have a white in this bundle here. This just shows you all of the, the colors. It doesn't tell you a whole lot of information. Like um, it doesn't say what grams you get I think on this website it does. Let me go back. Find one that's not sold out. A lot of people are looking at these kind of liners right now, so that's why they're going to be sold out. All right, you've got a description, how it works. Okay, here it is. Five grams or 0.18 ounces. I think the ones for Suva Beauty are 10 grams, and the ingredients are also there. So on this website, they do have the ingredients here listed, but some of those ingredients, it looks like it's missing some ingredients, but there's also no size on here. I don't know. And they don't sell their liners individually at all. Um, if I go to the paint pot liner part of this website, they do have other colors available. They've got the neon one, which has seven shades, or they have the tainted pot, which is 13 shades for $65. Let's just do some math here. So we have 65 divided by 13. So that's $5 a piece, which is pretty inexpensive if you ask me. But again, you don't know how long, and the ingredients look the same. You don't know how long it's gonna take to get them. And then this one has seven. This one has seven liners for 35. So we're looking at $5 a piece there, which again is a really good price, but no weight or anything, and the ingredients are the exact same. And this right here is kind of concerning to me, just my, you know, Opinion tent to spend ten dollars for a twenty-four hour turnaround to bump up your order and queue. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Paying ten extra dollars just for them to pack your order seems a little sketch to me. Normal processing takes between four and six days, or you can pay ten dollars and get it sent out within a day. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, I do. I don't think it's cool. Then we have Beauty Bar Baby. They have a couple of different types of liners. Uh, this one here. Let's see what I found. Seven piece unicorn candy liner pre-orders for seven for $30. Right now, it looks like you get all seven for 28. So if we take 28 and divided it by seven, that's $4 a piece, which is a really good price. These are also UV reactant, which is, I think, cool if you have a black light, which I do not. It says update on five, six, that the liners are available pre-order only as we sold out. Again, uh, it says 14 to 21 days for pre-orders to ship tells you the colors that you get 
what the name and breakdown is. These are three grams, so this tells you how much weight, how to use them, and the ingredients as well, which is nice to see. Now, like I said, they have other colors, so let's go back to the other page I was on. And I've heard nothing but good things about Beauty Bar Baby, and I've been eyeballing their stuff for a while. They also have this one here, the Eight Piece Magic Rainbow UV Neon Liners. These are $32 for an eight piece set, which should be $4 each. 32 divided by eight should be four, yep. So $4 each for these. Again, it has the name and the color next to it as to what the breakdown is, three gram jar, how to use, and ingredients. So, so far this is the cheapest one out of all of them, well out of the three that we've looked at, and then of course they've got other stuff. I think they have a mixing medium on here. If not, Lele Posh has a mixing medium you could probably use if you want something to last a little bit longer than just water. You can use water, you can use setting spray on these from what I understand. Then we get into Mamacita Cosmetics. My friend Ellie Star uh, makeup on Instagram actually uh, sent me the information for this brand. Um, the pastel liner bundle sold for $20. There are six shades in here and the, gram the jars are three grams, but oh, and the ingredients are also listed. Nice. So again, it has the information about what you get, how to apply, product size, and ingredients. And these jars, Ellie sent me some video. Her jars are about the size of a quarter. You just, you know, get your brush wet, run it around in there, and then you've got pastel liners. Those are pretty colors. So as of right now, these are sold out, but um, they will be restocking soon from what I understand. Um, so this is another one. Oh, I guess I could do pricings. $20 divided by six, they're $3.33 a piece. So this is technically the cheapest thus far. Then we have NYX Cosmetics. I have a couple of links for NYX that I found. This is a gel eyeliner. This is the Faux Whites Eye Brightener and they've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades. They're $8 each. And of course you get uh, a pencil and it shows like a, a swatch of the color. Has the information the ingredients, the how to use, and a Q&A section. No like weight or size or anything like that from what I can see. But these are $8 and this is a pencil liner. It's something you sharpen and I'm sure this will work like on your skin versus on your waterline. I'm sure it'll work both places. Then we have the Vivid Brights. There are several colors, but most of them are out of stock. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different shades for $7 each. This is a liquid liner. You kind of like um, it comes in a little pot and you pull it out and it's got a brush tip applicator on it. I have what their white one. Um, but like I said, most of these are sold out. These are what you know, I would consider neon. Some of these I guess you could mix with white to make pastels. So if you want something more drugstore, you've got this if you don't trust an indie brand. But so far the indie brands have beat the prices of this one. Then we have Absolute New York. These are also pot like liquid liners where you have to dip a brush into a tube and you know pull product out with a brush tip. There are six different colors. This is Absolute New York. I have a couple of their lip products. This is pastel liner. So you have yellow, tutti frutti, fairy floss, sugar plum, jelly bean, and mint chip. That's a pretty color. So it has what they are, how to use, and ingredients. Again, which is nice to see. These are $7.99 each. Um, uh, no weight or anything on, on these either. Then we have the Silva Beauty liners. These are $14 each. Occasionally you can get them in bundles right now. I think a few of them are on sale. Silva Beauty is known for their liners. I don't have any. I only have an eyeshadow from them. So I wouldn't know how the liners perform or anything, but um, and this brand has had some controversy recently. Um, and for people that are not my color, uh, there are some pretty toxic things that I have read and seen. Um, if you go to their comment section on a lot of their Instagram posts, you will just be able to see it for yourself. So just gonna say that. Um, but these are $14 each. I have done a video on Suva Beauty before, and that was before I found out about some of the other things. I've wanted this Space Panda liner for a while now, um, but I'm not sure that I will ever buy anything from this brand. The liners are 10 gram jars or 0.35 ounces. They do have the information on here, customer reviews, and I didn't see ingredients. I am not seeing ingredients. Nope, no ingredients. So that's not cool. Um, I like to see ingredients on a website. I think all, all brands that do any type of formulation of anything should have the ingredients listed. What's this? 
oh, there's the ingredients. Why is it there in a picture where you can't like copy and paste it and like Google search it? That doesn't make sense to me. But it, uh, these are $14 each, but these are like very large. They're like um, half dollar size jars. So these will last for like ever. But again, they're $14 each. Then we get into the color pop liners. They have a bunch of different formulas. They have the liquid, they have the BFF gel, they have gel liners, they have pot gel liners. Um, let's see what info I found. Let's see. Color pop, BFF liquid liners, seven shades, $8 each. Cream gel liners, 14 shades for $6 each. Or the cream gel colors for five shades uh, for $7 each. So far, um, Mamacita is uh, cheaper than everybody. And then Beauty Bar Baby is coming right up in the second place. So I do have Graceland. It's not as opaque as I would like it to be. You can buy bundles. Um, oh, that's one thing I didn't do. On here, I didn't show you the other liners, my bad. You can buy them individually, like I said, and occasionally they do have bundles. Right now, probably not. They just did a sale this past weekend. seen any bundles okay for ColourPop, they do have all of the bff liquid liners um, these are pen felt tip liners you can buy them in a bundle kit for 45 they have uh, the bff cream gel liners which the bundle usually retails for 88 it's on sale for 77 when i'm recording this which is uh, may 15th um i have quite a few of these liners between the top row and the bottom row and then here's one of the cream gel colors they come in a little pot. I've wanted this white one for a while. That's an exit. I also have the white one in exit here. These work amazing in the waterline, but on the actual eyelid, I have issues with them not wanting to go on. Now this, this one here, Get Paid, is amazing on the waterline or on the lid. Maybe it's because it's a metallic formula, but again, these range from $6 to uh, I think eight. Yeah, the, the ones in this form are $8. Then we have JD Glow Cosmetics. I have three different listings that I've found for these. JD Glow, if I'm not mistaken, is based out of Florida. I think they're in Florida. Let's check real quick. I don't want to say something that's incorrect. Maybe this is the brand out of Louisiana. Yeah, this is okay. This is the brand out of Louisiana. I was thinking of Terra Moon Cosmetics, which is out of Tampa. Okay. Uh, glad I got that right. Okay, so information I pulled for JD Glow. They have matte liners, 19 shades for $9.50 each. A pastel neon bundle of matte gel liners for eight shades for $68 each, or a neon bundle for seven shades for $59.50. These are the matte liners, and I do believe these come in a tube. There's the neon bundle right there for $68. Vivid neon bundle for $59.50 and makeup remover which is probably what you're going to need so the pastels has all the names the descriptions instructions how to remove it and formula oh and the size four milliliter tube hair bristle applicator Let's see if i can find a picture of the tube nope i just try and just pick one No picture of the tube. You can see the tube of these on Instagram, um, but it's about this big, about the size of my finger, which is about a size five if you're looking at ring size. Um, so it's a pretty standard like liquid eyeliner tube that these come in. And from what I understand, they're also waterproof. Yeah, perfect for watery eyes. So these are 60, 68, how many shades? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's 755 each, or you can buy them individually. These are like 950 individual. So it is cheaper to buy the bundle. 
So those are the three that I found from GD Glow Cosmetics. And then we have Glisten Cosmetics. I've talked about this brand before as well. Glisten Cosmetics has a wet liner pastel bundle six for 30 pounds. This is a UK based brand. I do believe, if not, it's a uh, Australian-based brand. I'll have to look. Uh, then they have the Wet Liner Neon Bundle. They've got four shades for 20 pounds. I don't know how that is in like American money. Let's look and make sure. I think this is the British brand. There was a Aussie brand I was looking at too. Well, I don't see. I do believe this is a UK-based brand. She's the one that makes those biodegradable uh, glitters out of cellulose, so it breaks down um, over time. And for those that don't know, cellulose is what we see in like tree leaves and tree bark and things like that that um, are plant derived. Uh, so I think that's awesome. I think she uses some sort of like algae type formula in order to make the glitters biodegradable, which I think is amazing. Um, so she has some different liner bundles. This is the wet liner pastel bundle. You get six shades and right now it's 33 pounds. So 33 divided by six is 5.5 pounds each. Again, I don't know what pounds convert into US money. It has the description, the colors, the ingredients, the weight, and even an expiry information um, and where it's made, which is nice to see. Then she has the wet neon bundle for 22 pounds. These are four shades. Again, has all the necessary information. Let's just look at their eyeliner page real quick. Oh, you can buy wet, uh, white or black, or you can buy them individually for six dollars and fifty, six point five zero pounds. I need to remember this is not a U.S. brand. This is, a, I do believe it's a U.K. brand, but it's nice that you can buy them individually as well. So if you buy the pastel bundle and you want a white, then you can buy the white, or you can buy the pastel bundle and then the white and the black, and then you can have fun mixing to your heart's content. Um, again, uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm in Florida. Uh, hi, and. If you can tell me what the like conversion is from U.S. to U.K. prices, that would be amazing. Um, if it's in pounds, I'm guessing that, um, you know, that's that's British money. So I sound probably like a complete moron right now, but I'm tired. I've been up for hours. My entire day's kind of been upside down. So 33 pounds. Again, I don't know how that translates into U.S. money. Usually, if it says 33, I expect it to be about $40 U.S. I guess we could just Google it. I was about right, 40 bucks, 39.94. So 40 bucks for those liners. But again, I still, I still think that that's a really nice deal and I've been eyeballing their loose glitters and I'll show you those really quick. Whoop. These are all the biodegradable glitters that she has and they are so pretty. Like I said, I've done a video talking about this brand before so it's not like it's the first time you guys have ever heard me speak about her brand. But I like the fact that she has uh, biodegradable glitters. So there's that one. And then we've got one more brand. And this is a brand I will never buy from again. This is KVD Vegan Beauty. I don't care if uh, the parent company owns it now and that the person who created the brand is no longer in the picture. I've tried several other products. I don't like them. I don't... Um, I don't know what happened behind the scenes with the original artist and the brand and the owners, like the other owners and that kind of stuff. I don't know what happened between all of them, but I didn't support the brand before and I won't support the brand now, but I figured I would give you some options. Um, this is the Inkwell Long Wear Matte Eyeliner. I do not find any of the eyeliners from this brand to be long wear, water resistant, even waterproof. One, one watery eye and the whole thing is a mess. So, um, in my experience with this brand and with their liners, uh, with the several that I've tried, it's a big no for me, but I figured I'd give you options. These are $20 each. There's six shades in this and it comes a little inkwell and you kind of dip it in like a, an actual feather pen. Um, and then you apply it from there and there's a picture of all of, all of the, the colors and stuff here. So usually the top and the bottle, you know, match the shades. And then there was another one from this brand. These are cake pencil liners. I only found the white. The, this is on sale for $12. You can also buy this brand at Sephora. I also do not support Sephora, so I don't try to ever buy anything from there. Um, and this has been on sale for a while, but the white actually looks pretty pigmented, which is, you know, if you're looking for a white. Usually you can use white and then put eyeshadow over it to make a pastel looking liner. But that is everything. Um, like I said, all of this information that I found and pulled, I will 
copy all of it and then put it in the description box. If you are interested in checking out any of these brands, like I said, Mamacita is the cheapest for all of the like hydro liners. And then Beauty Bar Baby is the next cheapest. Um, and you get one more shade from Beauty Bar Baby versus the Mamacita. So let's go back to those really quick. So Mamacita, you get a, let's see, does she tell you what colors? No. Um, so you have a purple, a yellow, a blue, a pink, a uh, green, and then an orange. And like I said, these are $20. Or with Beauty Bar Baby, for their seven, you get cotton button, or candy buttons, which is a pastel pink. You get a pastel peach, purple, turquoise, green, yellow, and blue. And then here are the, the swatches of it. So you do get, let's see if I can, so you have this like green and then you have this yellow and on here the green and the yellow look pretty similar. Only difference is I think you get an extra blue with this one. Still doesn't have a white. I would like to see a white with these, but I'm sure, let's see, does she have the white you can buy individually? And here's the thing I was talking about. This is the glitter glue adhesive eyeliner wet liner sealer. So you put it on over your eyeliner to get it to stay, or you could put it down first and then put your eyeliner over it to help it stay longer. I knew she had something. Now you do get a white in the retro or the, the rainbow bundle. So there's eight there for $32. And I'm sure if you mixed the white with some of these shades that you could get more pastel versions of them. If you don't want to buy the pastels, you could get the, ne the neon one and then mix the white in with it to lighten it. And then you could just do like a two to one ratio or something to cut it down. So just some options. Um, like I said, I've been looking at neon liners and pastel liners for a while because of the fact that I, I'm interested. Um, I'm interested in the hydro liners. I've been eyeballing the one from Suva Beauty for a while. Um, but I found a few other brands that carry these kinds of things. And if you guys know of any other brands that carry these kind of liners, let me know, leave the information in the comment section. So maybe other people can discover them too. I did searching on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Google, you name it. Um, and all the brands and stuff that I found just on my own search, um, I saw stuff for on all the other platforms and stuff as well. So I just tried to compile as much information as I could toss it into one video for you guys and hopefully this is helpful if you're looking for these kinds of things also this is something that i was looking to buy um i think for me i would buy the beauty bar baby ones i want the neon bundle as well as the pastel bundle but she also makes these beautiful highlighter shades and some of her pans are heart shaped which is absolutely beautiful her website design is a little need some help but this moonstone shade is stunning some of these are absolutely beautiful and I'd love to, if you guys want to see a video of me going to one brand website and shopping through the website and being like, I would buy this and I would buy this and I would buy this if I had the money. If you guys want to see that, let me know because I will be more than happy to film it like sitting here. Um, my dad is finishing up the one room out there. So hopefully I can get all of the jewelry inventory that is currently behind me um, out of the way and maybe some of the boxes too can away um but half the couch also has business stuff on it so yeah it's a lot of stuff i got so i got so much jewelry stuff that's not even online it's not even funny so i digress for a minute um hopefully you guys like these videos when i i do screen records and that kind of stuff um but yeah i'm going to let you guys go have a fantastic day or night wherever you are and i did record this look this is palette number 15 this is a Nomad Cosmetics Antilles palette, and I recorded that this afternoon, and so, yeah, you'll see this look again. And the next palette I end up doing with that is the Marrakesh one, which will be palette number 16. So, I'm doing, we're on the 15th right now that I'm filming this, so right now I'm currently caught up, and then tomorrow will be the 16th palette on the 16th day, and then the 17th I'll actually do two palettes in one day, uh, so that'll, like, help. <laughs> so, anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic day or night wherever you are. Bye.